start with, almost a year ago I was on campus down in UCC for the sh school shooting. And since then, the bitch over in uh, the governor's mansion is trying to take away my weapon to protect myself from another sh shooting. I, I, don't, I don't get it. And to the legislators in the building, can you tell me how taking away my weapon is going to protect me when you're 10 goddamn minutes away and I'm trying to protect a classroom of people? Can anybody out there tell me how that's going to help me out? No. No gun sign. Right, it, it's not going to. And I, I wanted to read something to you guys because I found it funny. No firearms allowed in the Capitol or on Capitol grounds unless you possess a valid Oregon concealed handgun license or in case those words violate the law. They are trying to be sneaky and it stinks. After the UCC shooting, a lot of people gave a lot of credit to our sheriff, John Hanlon, down in Douglas County. John's a good man. He's doing what he believes is right. But Casey Runyon and myself had an altercation, well, not an altercation. Casey had the altercation. I just came to film it. An incident. Where Casey was open carrying, he was making a delivery for a, a vendor that was at the fair. That vendor right there. <laughs> Oregonian needed more hats because they're popular. Casey came down to, to deliver them. He was on his way out when a Winston police officer came up to him and said, excuse me, you're going to have to remove that weapon, cover it up, or I'm going to have you escorted out. A threat under color of law. Afterwards, Casey and I went up to the sheriff, and the first thing out of his mouth was, Casey, you can't be doing that here because there's a park rule. I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy. I'm not a appease the masses. I have liberty that I want to use. You guys have freedom that you want to have. But we were told that night that the way we are going about things, open carrying, is not helping out the issues or the, the, the fight that we're having. And I don't get it. How the hell are we going to win by sitting down and shutting up? If you ask any of these damn politicians who are saying, you open carriers out there with your ARs and your shotguns, aren't helping the cause, you need to just sit down and let us do the job for you. How would they get elected if they sat down and shut up during their campaign? How'd they get elected anyway? How the hell did they get elected? <laughs> what not? The fight we have are against a loud majority, minority. The liberals, the anti-gunners, do you think that they're getting laws passed because they're sitting down and shutting up? No. Anybody can tell you that. I also, something that, that, that's come to mind a, a lot is, you guys saw me turn the speaker around, because I don't, even though I say you guys and I'm looking at you, I want them to hear it, because I'm not really talking to you. You guys have the same beliefs, pretty much, that I have. They don't. So, as you stand out here today and something moves you to want to go visit one of these cowards who are going to be fearful of your gun or want you to not be in there so they're going to shut and lock their doors or hide or whatever, I want to ask in the first place, why are we out here? Who the hell are we talking to? You're not talking to me. I don't... It's not rude. I, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to them. I want them to understand that we have rights and liberties we're standing for. <laughs> but do you see any politicians out here? I know Mike was out here a second ago. Well, I don't know. That might be a sniper. Yeah, 
Officer shooting patriots are guarding this building from us the people who are supposed to be telling the people they're guarding what to do. And while they're doing it, they're disarming us. Those who don't have concealed carry aren't welcome in that building with their guns. And whether it's disarmament through a request to please remove your weapon in the fairgrounds because of a park rule, or if it's fear, a pure Gestapo forceful removal of your weapon, disarmament is disarmament. And I say, like King Leonidas, who was facing the Persians, who knew he was going to die, Malone Leve, come and take them, sons of bitches. That's right. I'm done being nice. I'm done talking pretty. I'm, 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 I'm freaking frustrated at the apathy that our neighbors have. And it sucks because a lot of times we'll see each other on Facebook or at rallies like this, get in arguments with each other with patriot cannibalism. What the hell are we doing with the cannibalism, people? Our fight is not with our neighbors. Our fight are with people inside of marble buildings around this nation. I'm not talking about just Oregon, Washington, California, hopefully soon the state of Jefferson. State of Jefferson. <laughs> we we gotta stop standing out here. I want to re-impress upon you guys that we have. Raise your hands if you're an escort. There's one. What kind? Oh, there's five more behind me. Take your time. Go inside and listen to what's going on. Find a legislator. Find anybody in that building who you can talk to and share what you, you, you care to talk about. But get in the building. Get off the sidewalk. That's right. Amen. Thank you.